Hello all welcome to broadcasting and uh, streaming class today we are going to discuss about DRM digital radio mondial so in this session we are going to see about uh, now we'll, I'll give you the introduction we'll see about uh, audio source encoding then forward error correction in DRM modulation method frame structure interference on the transmission link DRM data rates DRM transmitting stations and DRM receivers and we'll see about DRM plus that's the latest technology so in this session we are going to see all in 2000 a further digital broadcasting standard called DRM digital radio mondial was created the standard is ETS 101980 DRM is intended for the frequency band from 30 kilohertz to 30 megahertz in which the AM services was not uh, normally transmitted. The broadcasting frequency bands were basically divided in accordance with their propagation characteristics. So what are those? So for example, you take, you know, uh, long wave LW that is from 30 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz. Medium wave is 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz. Short wave is 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz. VHF is 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz. And UHF ultra high frequency is 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. So VHF is split into three bands VHF 1, VHF 2, VHF 3. VHF 1 is 47 to 85 megahertz, VHF 2 is 87.5 to 108 megahertz, and VHF 3 is 174 to 230 megahertz. Again, UHF has uh, got two different uh, frequency bands uh, one is uh, UHF 4 and UHF 5. It's a continuation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So UHF 4, band 4 is called uh, 470 to 606 MHz. In uh, uh, UHF 5, it is 606 to 826 MHz. So in the, in the frequency band below 30 MHz, very long range reception is sometimes possible, which however is greatly dependent on diurnal or day and light. That's a diurnal, okay, diurnal, diurnal. So nocturnal, right? For the the animals which will uh, hunt the uh, the prey at night, that is called nocturnal, right? So diurnal is day and night both. So this uh, long range reception is greatly dependent on diurnal variations and on solar activity. The channel between bandwidths specified here are nine kilohertz and uh, ten kilohertz region two. Nine kilohertz and ten kilohertz. So 9 kilohertz at region 1 and region 3, 10 kilohertz at region 2 in uh, you know IT region. DRM is the attempt to replace uh, more and more unused frequency bands in which amplitude modulation has a hitherto been used, it's not been used, with the modern digital transmission methods. The modulation method applied is the same COFDM using MPEG for AAC for compressing the audio signals. So what is the net data rate? The net data rates are usually approximately 10 to 20 kilobits per second. The channel bandwidths specified for DRM are derived from the bandwidths normally used in the frequency bands provided. The DRM bandwidths are between 4.5 kilohertz and 20 kilohertz. Look at figure number two. They are defined via the parameter of spectrum occupancy. Table 1 shows the possible bandwidths as in other standards too which defines UIFDM as a modulation method modes are defined here. The DRM modes are designated as robustness mode A, B, C and D. The mode determines the carrier spacing and the symbol duration. The physical parameters of the DRM modes can be seen in Table 2. The number of carriers, the number of carriers in a COFDM symbol depends on the mode and on the DRM bandwidth. The number of carriers which can be accommodated in a symbol is listed in table number 3. The figure number 1 shows the block diagram of a DRM modulator. Up to 4 services, audio or data, can be combined to form one DRM multiplex and to be transmitted in the so-called 
MSC main service channel. A DRM signal contains the following sub channels. The MSC that is main service channel which is 16 qualm and 64 qualm modulation. The second one is the FAC the fast information channel that is QPSK. The third one is the SDC service description channel QPSK or 16 qualm. The FAC is used for signaling the following information to the receiver. What are those? There are six robustness mode, spectrum occupancy, third one is interleaving depth, fourth one is MSC mode, fifth one is SDC mode and sixth one is number of services. Look at the SDC. The SDC is used for transmitting information such as the protection level of the MSC, stream description, service level, conditional access information, audio coding information, time and date. Audio source encoding. The, the DRM transmits MPEG-4 encoded audio signals which can be compressed with the, any of the following algorithms. MPEG-4 can be, uh, you know, can have three different uh, algorithms. Either you can use MPEG-4 AAC that is called advanced audio coding or MPEG-4 self speech coding that is uh, self is code excited linear prediction speech coding or HVXC speech coding that is harmonic vector excitation coding. So out of these three, it will select any of the no, algorithms. The forward error correction. See the forward error correction in DRM is composed of uh, no, three different blocks. One is a energy dispersal block. Another one is conversional recorder. Another one is a puncturing block. You can refer the diagram. Okay. In DRM, it is possible to choose between equal FEC and unequal FEC. You can select either of. Parts of the audio frame can be error protected to a different degrees by, by this means. Either you can go with equal FEC or unequal FEC. The degree of error protection is determined via the protection level and the protection level can be chosen among four. PL is equal to zero, protection level zero. That's a maximum error protection. Protection level 1, protection level 2, protection level 3 is the lowest error protection. The PL then results in a particular code rate. Let's see about the modulation method. The FAC that the fast access channel is permanently QPSK modulated. Look at figure number 3. It is permanently QPSK modulated since it is virtually the first entry point for the DM, DRM receiver. And it must be modulated firmly and very robustly. In the case of the service description channel SC, SDC, it is possible to choose between QPSK and 16 QAM as a modulation method, which is again signaled to the receiver via the FAC. The types of modulation possible in the MSC are either 16 QAM or 64 QAM, which is also signaled to the, to the, to the receiver via the FAC. Apart from the modulated data carriers, which transmit the information of the MSC, FAC and SDC, there are also pilots which are not responsible for any information transport. They have special tasks and are mapped onto a fixed constellation schemes known to the modulator and receiver. These pilots are used for frame, frequency and time synchronization, channel estimation and correction, Robustness mode signaling. In DRM, it is possible to choose apart from simple modulation. Also hierarchical modulation. It is possible to choose apart from simple modulation, also hierarchical modulation similar to DVBT. Different levels of error protection can then be used on the two parts of the hierarchical modulation. Let's see about frame structure. Like other transmission standards such as DVB-T or DAB, DRM2 has a frame structure. Look at figure number 4. It has a frame structure for arranging the COFDM symbols which is organized as follows. A certain number of COFDM symbols, NS, results in a COFDM transmission frame. And then three transmission frames produce one transmission super frame. And COFDM frame in turn is composed of pilot cells, control cells, 
and data cells. Control cells are FAC and SDC. Data cells are MSC. In this context, cells are understood to be carriers allocated to various uses. Control cells are used for transmitting the FAC and the SDC. Data cells are used for transporting the MSC. The pilot cells are simply the pilots already mentioned. If you look at figure number, table number 4. Table number 4 shows how many CYFDM symbols make up a transmission frame. At the beginning of the transmission super frame, the so-called SDC block is transmitted in symbol number 0 and 1, in mode A and B, and in symbol number 0, 1 and 2, in mode C and D. After that, only MSC and FAC cells are transported until the beginning of the next super frame. Look at figure number 4. Look at figure number 4. Pilot carriers or pilot cells are distributed over the entire range of COFDM carriers. Depending on the mode, they are spaced apart by 20 or 6 or 4 or 3 carriers from one another and skip forward by 4, 2 or 1 carrier from the symbol to symbol. Interferences on the transmission link. Look, DRM is operated in a frequency band in which atmospheric disturbances and diurnal fluctuations of the transmission characteristics, ground and sky wave, are particularly pronounced. In the frequency band below 30 MHz, there is mainly also the presence of man-made noise to be considered. According to the standard, the DRM has a bit error ratio of 1 into 10 power 6 in the MSC after the channel decoder with the signal to noise ratio of 14.9 dB with a 64 qualm and a code rate of 0.6. In practice, the fall of the cliff phenomena, also known as brick wall effect, was actually observed with an approximate S by N ratio of 16 dB at a CR of 0.5. With the 16 qualm modulation, this effect occurred with an SNR of about 5 dB. Look at DRM data rates. The DRM data rates depend on the DRM bandwidth, that is spectrum occupancy, on the mode, on the selected type of modulation and on the forward error correction. They are between about uh, 5 and 72 kilobits per second. The lowest possible data rate, the CR is equal to 0 0.5, 16 qualm, mode B and 4.5 kilohertz. It is 4.8 kilobits per second. The highest possible data rate, the CR at uh, 0 0.78, 64 qualm, mode A, 20 kilohertz. The highest possible data rate is 72 kilobits per second. DRM transmitting stations. Uh, numerous transmitting stations throughout the world have already been converted from AM to DRM. Relevant information is available from the internet. You can refer that. Apart from software-based DRM receivers, compact receivers are also available now. Software-based solutions are most cases uh, based on the DRM signal down converted at 12 kHz, which is fed into the line in socket of a PC. A suitable example which can be mentioned is a dream software from the Technical University of Darmstadt. You know, look at figure number five. Now, DRM transmitting stations, you know, I have given a website uh, link here. You can refer that DRM.org. What can I hear? Broadcast schedule two. Now, I've given a few sample radios also here. You can uh, refer those. It's for example, Chennai, Delhi, Rajkot, Ahmedabad, Ajmer, and Bangalore stations are DRM stations. There are, it's a combination. Like a pure DRM stations are present. Simulcast is also present. So for example, you take, you know, Vivid Bharati, Chennai, FM Rainbow, Chennai. They're all Chennai based, but pure DRM based. Vivid Bharati, Delhi, FM Rainbow, Delhi is a Delhi one. You know, it's a pure DRM. But in Rainbow India, which is, in from, which is from Ahmedabad and uh, 
Ajmer or simulcast AM plus DRM. FM Gold is 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 uh, is by simulcast Bangalore actually. So I have listed out so many you know uh, transmitting stations here in India. You can refer, you can search in internet, you can find out, you can tune, you can listen. Now see the DRM receivers. I have given a few examples of DRM receivers. You can you can find out you know Avian Electronics. Avian Electronics India launched its uh, Indian made receiver AVDR1401 very recently. This receiver offers full DRM features, including the emergency warning feature. Another one is a Gospel GR216 Gospel. The Gospel GR216 is a new generation DRM receiver. The GR216 is, is equipped to receive DRM broadcast as well as traditional FM with RDS and AM in medium wave, medium wave band and short wave band. The featuring a high performance DRM or AM or FM tuner, GR216 provides a noise free reception of even the weakest stations. It supports the latest audio compression such as uh, XHEAAC high efficiency or uh, advanced audio coding it's HEAAC and traditional HEAAC as well extreme high efficiency and high efficiency as well as SBR and parametric stereo look at Himalaya DRM 2009 this Himalaya DRM 2009 is a standalone radio and this supports DAB DRM AM FM services. It's a real, real, real portable transceiver or receiver that could be run either by AC or batteries. With the SD card slot, it can also be used as MP3 player. Last one is a Technisat Multi Radio. Technisat Multi Radio. It's a this is a analog digital combo radio. This will allow you to receive both uh, conventional analog broadcaster on long, medium, shortwave FM and uh, digital radio with the DRM DAB, DAB band 3 and L band. Now DRM plus. DRM plus is an extension of DRM. This is being developed and uh, it is intended for frequencies above 30 megahertz. DRM plus could be a possible alternative to DAB like DRM. DRM plus would work with the latest AAC plus codex and this could be used both in VHF band 2 uh, where VHF FM technology is currently employed and it can work in VHF band 1 which is as now is empty right so it can handle both so that's all about DRM.